TLC's 90 Day Fiancé has become one of TV's most talked about reality shows, spawning several successful spin-offs. 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days was a smash hit, but in 2020 the series received extreme backlash over one participant's sordid past. This is the untold truth of 90 Day Fiancé's Jeffrey Paschal. I think this is all a joke to you. I am your free ride to America. TLC's announcement of the 2020 season of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days introduced the upcoming season's couples, including Jeffrey Paschal and Russian radio personality Varya. According to the network's press release, the two met on a, quote, international dating site, and in a promo for the season, the Knoxville, Tennessee native admitted, I have never met Varya in person. So I've decided to go to Russia. I want to hear your voice and to see you. Paschal flew to Moscow for their first face-to-face -face meeting. He revealed the details about how they met during a confessional, admitting that their story began when he created a profile on an international dating site. Paschal, who revealed he'd previously been married more than once and claimed that he had it tough in love, then declared he and his new girlfriend were destined to be together. At that time, I truly believed there is no perfect package. Until I met Varya. According to a network press release, Paschal faced an unimaginable tragedy when his young son, Kazim, passed away at 13 months old. He revealed in the season premiere, I've had a lot of heartbreak in my life, but by far the absolute worst is what happened to Kazim. Paschal explained that Kazim suffered a seizure while in his care, ultimately passing away a few days later at the hospital. Paschal added, Losing a child is the absolute worst thing that could ever happen to you. There's going to be a hole in my heart for the rest of my life. But I know Kazim's all around me, and that gives me peace in my heart to know that. They had him on life support, and I held him as they pulled the plug. In February 2020, Paschal shared a tribute on Instagram to commemorate what would have been his son's third birthday, writing, There is not a moment that goes by whereas he is not encompassing my every thought. Weeks before the premiere of Paschal's season of Before the 90 Days, Knox News reported that he made a court appearance in late January 2020, stemming from an arrest just months before. The bust came after an alleged violent altercation with his then-girlfriend, who claimed in her petition, He repeatedly bashed, slammed my head into the hardwood floors of my home. He dragged me through the house by my hair and continued throwing my body into walls and furniture. His ex sought medical attention at a Knoxville hospital and was diagnosed with a concussion. In addition, the woman accused Paschal of disabling her phone. She finally managed to escape and called 911 from a neighbor's phone. The woman was granted a restraining order while Paschal entered a plea of not guilty. During his court appearance in January 2020, Paschal waived an arraignment and was formally charged with aggravated kidnapping, domestic assault, interference with emergency calls, and vandalism, according to Knox News. But according to his ex-girlfriend, this wasn't the first time she'd allegedly been the victim of Paschal's violent behavior. In her petition seeking an order of protection, she also accused Paschal of physical violence, as well as threatening her four times since the fall of 2018. Meanwhile, the alleged attacks apparently continued after after Paschal was placed in custody the following June. According to Starcasm, Paschal reportedly tried to, quote, kick out the windows of the patrol vehicle, which led officers to determine he was the primary aggressor. There's no reason I should be interrogated like this. Paschal denied charges, telling authorities his ex's injuries were self-inflicted. After the 2020 hearing, Paschal told reporters his ex-girlfriend's allegations were her way of sabotaging his child custody battle with his estranged wife, from whom he wasn't yet officially divorced. So many failed marriages made it really hard to trust people again. Paschal's June 2019 arrest impacted his ongoing custody battle with his estranged fourth wife, Brittany, as their divorce agreement was being worked out. According to legal documents obtained by Starcasm, the co-parenting agreement between Paschal and his ex granted her custody of their son, Caven, one week per month, with Paschal having custody for the remainder. Paschal's son was with his mother, who had moved to Canada and could not legally enter the U.S. when the reality star was arrested. While the two parents were scheduled to attend a court hearing days 
days later, Stark has him reports that Paschal never showed up. After his ex learned he'd been arrested on domestic violence charges, her attorney filed an emergency motion to suspend their co-parenting arrangement due to the allegations. The judge in this case ended up granting Britney temporary physical and legal custody and amending their previous agreement. Paschal would then be the one to have custody just one week per month, while Caven would live with his mother for the rest of the month. Does she know everything about you? Your past, more specifically? Um, well, no. Paschal's arrest and accusations of violence were just one piece of a larger picture that began to emerge when Stark has him claimed to have obtained the divorce papers filed by ex-wife number two in 2004, and those legal documents contained some very disturbing allegations. Among the numerous claims from Paschal's second ex-wife were, quote, various physical assaults, which the filing claimed had been documented through medical records and court orders. In addition, this unnamed ex alleged that Paschal committed assaults in the presence of minor children as well as committing acts of violence towards the minor children themselves, and further threatened the lives of his ex-wife and her family numerous times. Hidden amidst these accusations was a particularly heinous one, a claim that Paschal had assaulted his ex-wife multiple times, even threatening her life. A 2013 divorce filing from yet another one of Paschal's ex-wives contained even more shocking allegations. According to Starcasm, in February 2020, he and that wife also had a child together. This ex, reportedly his third, similarly filed a motion for a protective order which requested that Paschal, quote, not have co-parenting time with their son, and claimed he is a danger to the child due to his practice of selling opiate medication and historic involvement of his children as a cover or mule in his illegal activities. Starcasm's report also included the transcript of a deposition allegedly given by Paschal. When asked if he was ever convicted of drug trafficking, the reality star reportedly admitted, I was convicted of something, but I'm not sure it was drug trafficking. As of April 2020, the exact charges in this case against Paschal remain unclear. I'm really worried that Varya will not accept me for who I am when she finds out everything about me. Early 2020 saw Starcasm continue to dig into Paschal's past. That February, the gossip site claimed to have discovered his lengthy criminal record, dating back to 1997, when he reportedly faced several drug charges at the age of 19. This was supposedly followed by an arrest in 2000 on charges of larceny theft. Paschal reportedly spent some time in prison, serving time in a federal pen from 2001 until 2003. While the charges on which he was convicted hadn't been unearthed, Starcasm did find documents indicating that at the time of his arrest, Paschal reportedly had in his possession five pounds of marijuana, two ounces of cocaine, $15,000, and a firearm. All that said, as Starcasm emphasized for all of these cases, these are the charges at the time of Jeffrey's arrests and should not be interpreted as guilt. Still in 2013, Paschal was reportedly arrested after a Home Depot security camera captured him putting more than $500 worth of lights on a dolly and heading out the exit door without paying. Starcasm reports that Paschal pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor shoplifting charge and received a probationary sentence. The last few years have been extremely hard, and I just want to find happiness again. Before a single episode of the 2020 season of 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days even aired, the revelations about Paschal's past left some fans unsettled. If a gossip site could find out this information, they wondered, why hadn't TLC? Viewers who found out about Paschal's arrests and the allegations surrounding them let their feelings be known on social media. One fan tweeted, I am boycotting Jeffrey and his dumb story. No interest in hearing anything from him. Another fan, self-identifying as a, quote, connoisseur of garbage television similarly tweeted, I can't believe 90 Day Fiancé is airing Jeffrey Paschal's segments considering the accusations against him. One viewer was angered enough to launch a petition on Change.org titled Remove Jeffrey Paschal from TLC Shows. Listing the various accusations surrounding Paschal, the petition's goal was that he be booted from the series while ensuring he appears in no future TLC program. The site stated, We would also like to make advertisers aware of what they are supporting and hope to see that your company Companies will not stand for promoting such atrocities as these. I won't know until I actually meet Varya if she's everything that I've built her up to be in my head. And there's a lot that she doesn't know about me. 
The shocking allegations about Paschal's past boiled over just as the new season of 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days premiered in February 2020. Viewers of the series who had become aware of the accusations were stunned to see that Paschal had apparently neglected to tell his Russian paramour, Varya, that he'd been arrested and was facing charges of kidnapping, domestic assault, and other crimes, or about the restraining order his former girlfriend had taken out against him. I truly believe that Varya and I are meant to be together. Fans took to Twitter to point out the corner Paschal had painted himself into, with one viewer tweeting, "'Yes, when Varya finds out you're a serial abuser, Jeffrey, she's not gonna be happy.'" And another simply wrote, "'Varya better be careful.'" A different Twitter user also added, "'Nearly spit my wine out when Jeffrey's friends said he has impulse issues. With a criminal history like that, I'd say so. It looks like we'll have to wait and see how this all plays out on screen.'" Paschal's alleged criminal past and 2019 arrest weren't the only details the star seemed to be keeping from his Russian girlfriend. It looks as though he also neglected to tell her that he was actually still legally married, since his divorce hadn't yet been finalized. I was surprised because he didn't tell me about that. Starcasm then dug up more on Paschal's estranged ex, Brittany. The two reportedly met in 2014 when he was 36 and she was 19. And during the course of their marriage, the couple had two sons. At some point, the marriage broke down, and in 2017, Brittany allegedly took their two sons and returned to Canada. In a court filing that year, she claimed she removed the children because of housing uncertainty and fears that her husband would expose the children to a grave risk of physical or psychological harm. That same court filing also also revealed that Britney was barred from entering the U.S. for 20 years, while Paschal was reportedly prohibited from entering Canada due to his criminal record. Several of Jeffrey Paschal's Instagram posts seem to be taken on film or TV sets, including one featuring such giveaway hashtags as acting, TV, actor's life, on set, talent, filming, actor, and casting. In another since-deleted post, he shared a photo of himself with Matthew McConaughey, presumably taken on a film set. Paschal's IMDb boasts numerous on-screen credits, but many of those projects appear to be true crime TV documentaries, in which Paschal acted in staged reenactments. In the series Homicide Hunter Lt. Joe Kenda, Paschal portrayed numerous characters, including a uniformed cop, a police detective, and a victim. This is going to go nowhere. Professional acting appears to have been a fairly recent endeavor for Paschal, with his earliest screen credit dating to 2017 for the true crime series Murder Chose Me. He played a convenience store manager on the show. The controversy over Jeffrey Paschal has continued to engulf the 2020 season of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days. However, as of April 2020, TLC has not addressed the controversy. I'm done. This is bull <laughs> I'm filming myself. I should have been smarter than this. For his part, Paschal finally issued a response of his own in a lengthy Instagram post shared on March 5, 2020. While he confessed to having a checkered past, the reality star neither admitted the accusations were true nor denied that they weren't. He wrote in part, "...I hid so much about myself, whether it be my age, my history, or even my relationships. With the path I chose, it cannot ever be reversed. Everything about me is out there for the world to see, whether it is true or fantasy. And honestly, I would not have it any different." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.